on. Good morning, day two on the Appalachian Trail. I woke up at seven o'clock, started packing up at 7.30, got on the trail a little after eight. It downpoured the entire time I was packing up, so, so much of my stuff is wet. Uh, my tent soaked, um, covered in mud as I was packing it up. It stayed relatively dry uh, during the night while I was sleeping, like inside the tent. The walls are definitely wet because it's a single wall tent. Um, got a couple splashes of water on my face, but nothing too bad. My sleeping bag's a little damp. That needs to be dried out. Uh, right after I woke up, I texted above the clouds hostel asking if they had availability just because I wanted to just dry everything out. Um, I didn't want to sleep in my soaking wet tent and sleeping bag for a second night, uh, but they just got back to me and said that they booked, which is a little unfortunate because I was really looking forward to staying there again since like the last time I stayed there two years ago. Um, I should have booked it sooner, but I don't know, I just didn't know what my plans were going to be each day. Um, so that's a big difference for me, is like hiking in the bubble. Uh, last time when I hiked, I was very ahead of the bubble. I started February 22nd, and I only had one instance where a hostel was booked, and that's because a through hiker had her entire family <laughs> visiting. Uh, so, yeah, not sure what I'm going to do now. Uh, hopefully it stops raining soon and I can maybe take everything out of my backpack and dry it up, but that doesn't look too promising, so I'll keep you guys updated. It stopped raining at like 9 o'clock, so I'm going to take off all this rain gear because it's just very hot while hiking. There's a lot of little up and downs right now. I guess this does look kind of spooky, but I think this is the top of Sassafras Mountain. It's not labeled and far out, but I heard some hikers talk about this climb. So yeah, it was a little tiring coming up here. I already climbed 1,200 feet of elevation gain this morning, and I think about one mile until Cooper Gap, and then I might stop and kind of figure out a game plan for the day and figure out like what my camping options are. Never mind, that wasn't the top. I still have to climb a little bit more. So I ended up messaging another hostel called Hidden Pond, I believe. They have a bunk room with eight beds, and they're also booked tonight. So that's a little unfortunate. So it looks like my best option is to camp at Lance Creek Restoration Area. That is 8.7 miles away, and I've already hiked 7.7 .7 miles. So it's a little bit of a big day, but that's also the last place that you can really camp before this section of trail that is uh, bear can only. And I don't have a bear canister, so I can't really go past Lance Creek. So I think, I think that's my best option. I am like less than a mile from Gooch Mountain Shelter and then maybe less than two miles from Gooch Gap. I might take a longer lunch type of break, so. That's the plan so far. I'm definitely a little tired though. So I did stop at Gooch Gap for about half an hour and laid out my sleeping bag in my tent. It was a little bit sunny, it was like peeking in and out, so it might have helped, but not a whole lot. About three miles is Woody Gap, 
which I think there's a lot going on there. So I might stop again there and try to air out my stuff, especially my tent, a second time. Um, it's getting sunnier and sunnier as the day goes on, which is great. Feels really nice. So yeah, feeling good. I've done 10 miles so far today and met a lot of people. But when I'm hiking, it's basically just me, which feels really nice. So since I haven't been getting good luck booking hostels the day of, I actually just booked a hostel for tomorrow night, which I'm excited. So that'll be two days in my tent and then one day at a hostel, which works out great. So tomorrow I will do up and over Blood Mountain and then I'm going to stay at your home in the woods. I've heard good things about them and what I just called, he seemed so welcoming and I'm really excited to experience a new hostel just because I've done this section two times already and I've stayed at a lot of the popular hostels but just having something new to look forward to I'm really excited for that so I'm probably gonna stop one more time to air out my tent just so my tent is good to go tonight and then yeah now I'm just excited to have something to look forward to right now so some really good news that I just got uh, above the clouds hostel just texted me and saying that they found some space and I can go if I still wanted to and I'm actually only 1.5 miles from the place that they usually pick hikers up so I'm like this is just too perfect so now instead of hiking onto Lance Creek where there's only four tent sites and my tent's already soaked I get to go to the hostel where I know the people that run it, um, they're so nice and I get to hang out with some other hikers and maybe meet some new friends, have a nice home cooked dinner, um, maybe buy a little bit more food. I believe they have a resupply spot in there um, just because I was cutting it a little close with the amount of food that I have to last me until Neil's Gap. So this turned out really well, <laughs> so I feel like it's a lot staying at a hostel tonight and tomorrow night, but I just went from thinking I was not going to be able to stay anywhere to having two places to stay back to back. So I think it's going to be really fun. Um, I have been using my phone a lot. Like I just announced on YouTube that I was through hiking again. So I've been getting a lot of messages and I've been replying to people and taking a lot of vlogs, <laughs> and a lot of videos. So my battery has been draining really fast. So. It'll be nice to charge everything too. And yeah, my, if you can't tell, I'm, I'm pretty excited. Time for a Snickers. It's 54 degrees right now, and now it's really sunny. I am pretty warm. I could probably take my layers off, but with less than one mile until the end of the day, I don't want to stop. 